The D-Day for the ban on Papua New Guinea's favorite nut in the nation's capital is a slip away. There's been mixed reaction from the public on the ban. Many see the betel nut trade as their only means of survival, but fail to see the health implication associated with it. Northern Governor Gary Jufa highlighted the health risk associated with the nut and called on the health department to do more to educate the people. The health department needs to get involved as well because there is a direct link between boy and the spread of um, TB. That is a fact. It, it's been found that uh, TB is being spread by those who chew boy because they spit everywhere and the same people are using the same lime and they're chewing uh, everything. It's, um, it, it's something that is of concern. They have also found out that it is not only TB but a specific type of TB that is uh, linked to the abuse of betel nut. This serious health concern has been one of Governor Poe's Pakop's main reasons for the ban apart from the filth created by it. With the ban, Mr. Jufa also wants the governor and his team to find alternative ways of assisting the people make money. We have a duty to our people and we have to find means and ways to occupy them and allow them to earn a, earn a living in some way. And if we're going to eradicate their source of income, then what is the alternative? We, we've got to look at that as well. So, Northern Governor Gary Jufa is also looking at carrying out a similar ban in his province to stop people from selling and consuming betel nut in public places. He says designated markets will be set up to facilitate the trade outside of the town area. Mickey Cavera, National MTV News.